Hey guys, Martha Mentor here back with another video. All right, this video I want to talk about a company that I think um, a lot of people are sleeping on. I've mentioned this company um, in the past. Um, recently, um, uh, XPO did a spinoff um, um, and they did a spinoff as a brokerage firm slash final mal um, company. Um, but brokerage, uh, so for you guys that are doing middle mile, this is for you. Also, this spinoff um, handles expedited. So some of you guys with cargo vans, this also would work for you. And as well, um, the spinoff also covers final mile, both curbside and two man, three man final mile um, appliance and furniture uh, delivery as well. So it covers the whole scope of everything that we talk about on this channel all right the reason why this company let me give you the name of the company it's rxo all right it's a spinoff of xpo so basically xpo just did a, a spinoff sister company and just kind of split you know um some of the lanes that they run uh and, and separated it uh and put it over on rxo so it's covering expedited less than truckload truckload uh final mile um, covers those lane and it's also serves as a brokerage. So they have their, uh, on load board, which would be RXO connect. So you guys run a middle mile can download that app, um, sign up and, um, get loads off of there. Um, the reason why I say RXO is a company that people are sleeping on, especially middle mile guys, um, is one XPO is the third largest trucking company in the country. All right. They're the third largest. All right. Number one is UPS. Number two is FedEx. And number three is XPO. All right. Um, and by XPO being the th third largest, they have relationships with pretty much every retailer and just just pretty much everybody. All right. So anybody that you can think of XPO nine times out of 10 has that account, has that relationship. Um with those companies um as far as them being the third largest that would make them the number one company when it comes to uh big and bulky delivery so when you're talking about that curbside final mile and you're talking about that in-home final mile that would make them number one obviously because ups and fedex don't deal with that type of freight all right so um i was talking to someone last week and i was telling them look xpo doesn't have a shortage of work they're number three so when it comes to like freight um especially on the on the retail consumer side they have an abundance they have the retailer store accounts as well as the web accounts so um like i was talking on the live the other day you may go and deliver for home depot right and it may just be all appliances you're delivering from home depot samsung lg maytag whirlpool but they also have samsung.com they also have lg.com so for the retail uh the consumers that don't actually go into the store and actually go to the manufacturers website samsung.com and purchase a washer and dryer or samsung.com and purchase a refrigerator lg.com and purchase a, ref a refrigerator xpo rxo is fulfilling these orders and shipping directly final mile from their website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys the website i'm going to go through everything with with you on the website um break everything down to got to show you guys what's going on um and real quick before we get into it i'm also going to show you um their um insurance requirements i've spoken on this many of times xpo rxo has very strict requirements when it comes to insurance all right they're, they're a hard company to get with when it it comes to compliance um insurance they're going to want an umbrella i've been through it with them i have uh subs that are currently dealing with them uh so you know if you want the work you want the dedicated work a lot of guys talk about how they want the dedicated box truck work uh for one man this is the company that's going to get it but you're going to have to meet some strict stipulations and you're going to have to pay more than what the basic minimum requirements that most companies um are okay with you're gonna have to pay a little bit more all right so let's get into that now all right so this is the rxo website which is rxo.com this is where you're gonna go and sign up whether you want to uh 
sign up for well if you want to if you're running middle mile and you want to uh um download their app as far as booking loads on the brokerage side then you need to go to the app store the google play store and download the rxo um app they have two different apps uh, one is the rxo uh deliver app which is actually for customers so they can track their upcoming delivery and then you also have the rxo drive app where it's going to say rxo drive find and book loads that's the um the load board so that's the one you want to download for the load board uh everybody else that wants to sign up um you can sign up through here uh for expedited uh final mile but i'm going to cover everything right now so this is the website rxo.com all right um and here are all the lanes that they've carved out from xbo and brought over to rxo um ltl managed transportation last mile uh expedited and freight forwarding so we're going to focus on the ltl the last mile and the expedited all right so let's start with um the less than truckload oh and also truckload which is full truckload i missed it up here all right so full truckload ltl uh we're going to focus on uh last mile and expedited all right we're going to still focus on those three so let's go to less than truckload all right um right here it says we connect shippers with top tier regional and national carriers through a single point of contact negotiate directly through the rxo connect that's the load board all right let's click uh learn more here all right it's going to let you know all the solutions that they have um basically this whole lane um is going to be their brokerage which is going to be covered on their load board um on their website they're calling it rxo connect but on the um on the actual um google play store and on the um ios app store it's under rxo drive all right so basically this is for the brokerage um once you download the app for the middle mile guys you can go in here and pick your lanes all right now the last mile is going to be a little bit more different and i'm also get to the insurance as well um largest provider of outsourced last mile delivery for heavy goods earning top satisfaction rate i remember i told you guys xpo um is the third largest trucking company in the country behind ups which is number one fedex which is number two which makes um xpo rxo the number one trucking company obviously for heavy goods like it's saying for last mile delivery obviously because fedex and ups they don't handle that type of freight all right so let's take a look at it let's take a look at it um they cover the whole country um they got 82 hubs 77 dedicated facilities all right let's look at last mile delivery solutions oops sorry wrong one i clicked the wrong one i'm sorry find out more uh, wrong one again hold on let's go here heavy goods that's what i meant to click sorry about that guys last mile heavy goods deliveries um this is going to be your final mile what we talk about your two man three man um uh uh final mile uh in home delivery for appliances and furniture now um a lot of logistics companies also have assembly teams um that may come out and um do um not assembly teams but um installation uh, provider that may come out behind the delivery crew if they don't have someone certified there are some delivery crews that do have certified um installation uh technicians all right so they cover uh the heavy uh white glove uh final mile as you can see here and they also cover um uh independent which would be your um curbside um final mile uh delivery as well um here's some more uh options as you can see these guys are delivering a peloton but they also have one man um independent contractor uh curbside final mile all right so you have to sign up and you have to express interest in that option if that's the option that you are looking 
to do. Um, let's take a look at the insurance requirements real quick. Um, Arxo carrier contract requirements, uh, all the basic stuff. Obviously, you got to have UCR, your DOT, your business license, um, your EIN, uh, commercial uh, auto, cargo, general liability, and they're requiring workers' comp. Unemployment, unemployment insurance if you have employees providing service for you. All right. Um, let's take a look at the, um, the COI. Because there's going to be some additionally insured on this COI. All right. So for those that haven't seen this before, this is a core uh, COI uh, certificate of insurance. Um, <clears throat> right here is going to always be your general liability. So they want your basic one million. Uh, they want a two million dollar aggregate. Uh, you're going to have your auto right here. It's going to be one million. Um, right here is going to always be your workers comp. They're 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 asking for uh, a a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand for each employee, and a half a million policy limit. Now, if you are running Let's say curbside final mile and it's just you, then obviously this would be, you know, uh, wouldn't apply to you. But if you're if you have employees, um, you got people working for you under your business, then you're going to have to get the workers comp and they're requesting the unemployment insurance. All right. Um, some states require you just have it anyway when you have people on a W-2. All right. Um, I know my state does. All right. All right, motor truck cargo, which would be right here. They want a hundred thousand combined single limit, a million dollars because they want occupational accident. Only required a proprietor, partner, executive officer, and member excluded on workers comp. All right, so you're gonna need this if you got employees out. So obviously, if you're doing two man final mount, you're gonna have to have this on top of your workers comp. It's only excluded is if if you're doing like say. Um, one man curbside or let's say you're doing middle mount running off their low board or let's say you're running expedited with just you in a van or you in a straight truck and you don't have anybody working for you then this will be excluded along with the workers comp but if you have employees you're going to have to get this on top of the workers comp the only way it's going to be excluded is if you don't have people you know working for you all right now here's going to be your additional remarks this is um where the verbiage that i always talk about goes um when they want additionally insured this is all going to have to be put and written in um to the policy now i know progressive doesn't deal with one form of um they don't deal with xpo um i think as far as the cargo insurance is concerned i could be wrong but progressive doesn't deal with xpo for one of these insurance i just can't remember which one um, but this is all the verbiage that's going to have to get added in. And it's a lot of verbiage. All right. Normally, my broker, when this much verbiage is included, normally it's free when uh, a, a company or let's say a client or a customer requested. But sometimes if it's a lot to type in, sometimes the insurance company does charge a small fee. This is a lot of verbiage. All right. Um, XPO is one of those companies. They're going to indemnify themselves every which way coming i'm going to show you something that i don't see a i don't i've i've never seen a company ask for this except xpo i'm going to show you that in a minute um they're going to want you to put them as the certificate holder here all right let's go down because they have additional remarks so second page of additional insured verbiage all right uh workers comp coverage must extend to all employees of the contract carrier which stat statutorily required Occupational accident includes $250,000 accidental death and dismemberment benefit. I've never had a company require this. All right. I've never had a company require it, but this is how serious XPO is. And I know I talk about, you know, their insurance requirements, their umbrellas. And I always talk about how I walked away and why I walked away and, the story how my broker said, man, Mark, is this Ikea account, is it worth spending all this extra money for this umbrella? And I walked away from it. Here's something, you know, that you guys got to think about if you're going to run this. This is all the stuff they want. So they want um, occupational accident um, includes 250,000 accidental death and dismemberment benefit. Listen, they don't want to be 
responsible for anything. Nothing. They want to indemnify themselves every which way. All right. Uh, weekly total disability benefit and permanent total disability benefit of five hundred dollars per week for no shorter than one hundred four weeks. Contingent liability is in favor of XPO Last Mile Incorporated, XPO Logistics and its affiliates, and just a bunch of other hoopla. All right. Um, an actual copy of the endorsement's reference must be submitted along with the COI and blanket endorsement wording will not suffice. So they want the actual verbiage. They want all this typed out. All right. They want it all typed out. Um, they're very strict when it comes to this. Uh, XPO is probably the most out of all the final mile, or all the logistics companies I've ever dealt with. XPO's compliance is the strictest, strictest. All right. Um, so that's final mile. Once again, they do have curbside uh, final mile. Uh, as well as a uh, two-man team, uh, final mile. All right, let's go and look at um, expedited. Uh, expedited, real quick. Go back. Uh, let me see. Go back one more time. As you can see here, they also have expedited for cargo vans and straight trucks. All right, so ground transportation um, expedited. Um, for you guys that are looking to get into expedited uh, with cargo vans, sprinters, straight truck, tractor trailers, reefers, and flatbeds, here you are. Here's another opportunity. Uh, if you're looking for an opportunity for your cargo van, you want something dedicated this is probably going to be your best bet. Um, like I said, you're going to have a lot of insurance requirements. But if you want a company that's going to keep you busy, this is going to be the company. XBO, once again, third largest trucking company all right, in the country. So they have plenty. And when I say plenty, plenty of work, um, even when other companies have slowed down, they're still going to have work because they have every single account if you guys have ever walked through let's say an xpo facility they're massive and you see all types of things going through that place all right um i've been through a couple of them here and they just got it's just a, just, just anything you can imagine is coming through there all right so expedited guys uh curbside final mile all right um uh, regular final mile as far as appliances and furniture and then also the LTL for you guys that are running um, your 26 foot box trucks that want to go OTR um, their load board is probably going to be more beneficial to you than like your DATs because the thing is is XPO has the direct relationship with the shipper they have the direct relationship they have these accounts already so it's they have their own brokerage firm the rates are going to probably be a little bit higher than you going through these other low boards um because a lot of the times you're double brokering a lot of you guys don't understand that you're getting double brokered things of that nature xpo is probably going to be one of your safest bet especially for some of you new guys that are still trying to figure things out all right, so real quick before I go any further and close this out, uh, when we're talking about the um, insurance, because I don't want to go back and edit that, I, w I misspoke. The, the um, occupational accident um, insurance, that's if you are operating as your own individual. So let's say you're running um, curbside final mile with just you on the truck, or let's say you're running expedite. You don't have any employees that's something that you would have to get um to cover yourself because workers comp you wouldn't cover you you're working for yourself you only got to get workers comp if you have employees so that that occupational accident that's what you would have to get if you're because you you would be excluded um i know you can get that with um like s scr open force um and i know i spoke with open about open for force before so if this is um if, if XPO is um, 
letting one of those companies handle their um, compliance for them, which I doubt you can um, sign up for that uh, occupational hazard insurance through one of them. If not, then you're going to have to go through your brokerage um, and get it. All right. Whoever you're getting your insurance uh, through for your your GL, your auto and your cargo and whatever, all the other extra stuff that XPO wants um, and additionally insured in that verbiage uh, that you're going to have to add. that's going to cost you a bunch more money. Um, other than that, um, if you're willing to, you know, you know, spend the extra money on the insurance, the opportunity, you know, is going to be there with XPO RXO compared to any other logistics company um, in the country. All right. Because they just have the, they just have the relationships. They have the accounts. All right. Um, me personally, I think it's probably worth it on the middle mile broker side. It's probably worth it on the expedited side. It's probably worth it on the um, curbside final mile side. Now, when you get into final mile, um, where you're actually going into the home um, and obviously you're going to have to even if you're on the truck you still going to have another employee so you're going to have to get that workers comp that's when it starts getting tricky that's when it starts getting expensive that's when all that extra a lot of extra coverage umbrellas things of that nature are going to come into play because the more liability that's in stake for uh xpo rx so the more coverage that they're going to require all right so those white glove deliveries anything when you're assembling things in a home that's going to be the most expensive when you're getting to adding people for workers comp and you're getting to touching things walking across floors installing things things of that nature that's when i believe you know you may want to you know weigh your options and see how much the insurance is going to cost you i think the other options that i spoke of prior to um or other than um the actual going into the home final mile may be feasible um so that's something to think about guys uh rxo definitely one of those companies you want to check into they're going to have work even in january and february they just have two um they just have relationships with every single company imaginable if you go through their um list of clients that they serve and contracts and uh, relationships and companies and you know retailers that they service anyone you can think of they're dealing with them all right so um something to look look into guys um the work will be there for xpo rxo all right www.boxtruckcourses.com for your one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me martha mentor follow me on instagram follow me on facebook hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the upcoming videos every tuesday night here on youtube the mentors podcast with me martha mentor i'm out